Samsung has finally confirmed that its next Exynos chip is on the way, and this time it's arriving earlier than expected. The Exynos 2600, built on a 2 nanometer process, has already entered mass production ahead of schedule. This is big news because it means Samsung is planning to bring back its in house processors with the Galaxy S26 series in 20 to 6. Dot to understand why this matters, it helps to look back at what happened with the Exynos 2500. That chip was supposed to power the Galaxy S25, but things didn't go as planned. Samsung ran into major problems with its 3 nanometer process yields were low, performance wasn't stable, and the chip simply wasn't ready. Because of this, Samsung had no choice but to drop it and use Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite across every Galaxy S25 model. It was the first time in years that every region got the same Snapdragon-powered device. The Exynos 2500 eventually appeared later in the year with the Galaxy Z Flip 7. But by then, the excitement was gone. That failure put a lot of pressure on Samsung to prove it could still compete with Qualcomm and TSMC in making top-tier processors, dot instead of pushing the 2500 further. Samsung shifted its focus to the 2 nanometer process. Reports now say the Exynos 2600 is ready and in mass production. While Samsung's production yields aren't quite as high as TSMC's yet, they're strong enough for Samsung to move forward confidently. That's why many believe the Galaxy S26 will bring back Exynos in a big way. The question now is, which regions will get it? Historically, Samsung has split things up. Some markets, like the US and South Korea, usually get Snapdragon, while other parts of the world get Exynos. Leaks suggest this might still be the case with the S26, but sources don't all agree, so we'll have to wait for official confirmation. One thing is clear Samsung wants this chip to succeed. They've even cut prices for their 2 nanometer wafers, directly challenging TSMC's dominance. By lowering costs, Samsung hopes to attract more clients and strengthen its position in the chip making business. If the Exynos 2600 performs well, it could help Samsung not only with phones, but also with growing its foundry division. So, what can people expect from the Exynos 2600? While we don't have full benchmarks yet, early reports point to major improvements in both efficiency and performance compared to past Exynos chips. The 2 nanometer design means better power management, which should translate into longer battery life. It also opens the door for faster performance, putting it head to head with Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Still, not everyone is convinced. A recent poll among Galaxy fans showed that about 30% are excited to try the new Exynos, while 50% still prefer Snapdragon. The other 20% don't really care either way. That shows Samsung has some work to do to rebuild trust after years of Exynos chips being seen as weaker than Snapdragon. At the same time, the Galaxy S26 itself is facing mixed reactions. Early leaks of the S26 Edge and S26 Ultra design changes haven't been very popular. Some fans feel the updates don't really improve the look and might even hurt the premium feel people expect from Galaxy flagships. So even if the Exynos 2600 turns out strong, design choices could still affect how the S26 lineup is received. What's clear is that Samsung is betting big on the Exynos 2600 after the disappointment of the 2500. The company wants to prove it can compete directly with Qualcomm and TSMC. Starting mass production early shows Samsung is serious about making the S26 series stand out. If the chip lives up to its promises, it could mark one of the biggest comebacks in smartphone history. But if it fails, Samsung may be forced to lean on Snapdragon for even longer. For now, all eyes are on the Galaxy S to 6 launch, because that's when we'll finally see if the Exynos 2600 can deliver what Samsung has been promising.